But all right, what's up guys? My name is Joseph, AKA Mike Anderson from IOC project group number 13. It's our lucky number out here. What we've set up today is we have our M4 carbine automatic rifle that we have uh, airsoft, excuse me, airsoft rifle if you know the orange tip. Uh, it is set up so that it shoots when motion is detected. We did this using our three photons. Um, the first photon we have hooked up, the most important one, is our motion sensor. This is how we actually detect motion and tell the gun, oh crap, something's there, shoot it. Um, all, we literally just used a, PAR, a PIR sensor that came in our maker, uh, photon maker kit and a resistor and an LED light just to indicate when motion was detected so that we would be aware of when, whether or not this thing was working. Pretty simple, um, really easy to set up, even easier to code. Um, the coding was, <clears throat> all that I had to do was pretty much create the event, particle subscribe, uh, our particle publish the motion detection and say whether motion was detected or motion was not. Has a cycle of give or take 17, 15 to 17 seconds. Um, so there is a little bit of a dead zone, but it's not not worth noting, I should say. The next step is the very important part to any home security system. Well, what happens if you're asleep? What happens if, you know, I mean, because nobody's going to break in your house in the model of day, you'd hope. So what we have here is we use the uh, OLED screen and our, our piezo buzzer also came in our photon maker kit. Um, we hooked it up so that the photon, when motion is detected by our motion sensor, the photon sends a signal here to our OLED screen saying that it's firing and it simultaneously beeps our beeper three times. We'll saw, you saw, should have heard that earlier in our video of the gun working. Um, the beeping is just like a warning, like if you're asleep now you have something you hear, it's kind of like an alarm buzzing in your ear so they kind of wake up a little bit and it tells you somebody's here so, and we're shooting it. So like, get ready, call the cops, whatever. It's not a perfect system, but it'll buy you time in a pinch when you need it and that's what you always would want. As far as the coding goes, this also sends a power on sequence when it, um, whenever it set, resets, which it sets every uh, 10 seconds, excuse me. Every 10 seconds it powers on and it tells the other two devices that it's powered on. The motion detector also looks for whether or not the display is powered on before it sends the motion detected warning and send, tells the gun to fire. Next up we have our gun photon, which my buddy Clayton's going to tell you guys more about. The gun photon uses a very similar communication setup as these two, but instead of being used to display on an OLED screen and create a sound, it controls two servos, one of which is positioned here, uh, and that uh, operates the trigger, and another is here, and it turns the gun from side to side. These are programmed on a loop to fire in a pattern, in a spray pattern that can be adjusted by the user based on what type of firing situation they have at home. Okay, so the last thing we're going to talk about is the actual build behind the gun. So right here we just used plywood for our frame and if you look inside you can see that we've got our laser mounted up here on this side which we can use to uh, track where we're shooting at. And then we also have this string here just to act as kind of a counterbalance for now because the gun is really heavy. But on the inside, we have a bar that runs all the way through with spacers on each side to make sure that the gun doesn't have any shift left and right without everything moving together as one whole piece. And then inside of here, we also have bearings for whenever we decide to keep moving forward with this project and make a tilting function so that the gun can move up and down as well as left and right and track where somebody's at. So inside we have, uh, we have our battery pack because the servos require just a little bit more juice than the photon can put out. So we have our battery pack as well as our two servos as Clayton mentioned. And really that's, that's it other than our Kydex, which is a thermoform plastic which can kind of form around any material. So this could be used on just about anything, which is, which is good. Allows us a lot of versatility.